kids, there's one thing you can say about Waldo Wigglesworth. When he has money, he's really a sport. Uh, there's only one trouble. What's that? Uh, he's also a sport when he doesn't have money. Uncle Waldo, that's our last dollar you're lighting your cigar with. Well, what else can you do with a measly dollar these days? We could use it to pay some of our bills. Hoppity, we have more bills than two sessions of Congress. One measly buck isn't going to help. Look. Here's a notice from the mortgage company. If we don't pay them $100 by tomorrow night, they'll evict us right out of our truck. Well, there's only one way out. Of course, we skip town. No. We change our names. Nope. Uh, we starve. No, sir, we've got to go to work. <coughs> Bite your tongue, Hoppity Hooper. Yeah, but we got to do something. Oh, very well, but it does go against the grain. Hand me that newspaper, Fern Doc. Uh, Fillmore. Aha! Here is just the position. Ditch diggers wanted hard work, low pay, ten dollars a ton, bring your own shovel. That's, that's the, the job, job you're, you're gonna, gonna take? take? No, that's the job you're going to take. And next morning, Fillmore and Hoppity were hard at work digging a ditch for the Foggy Bog Power Light and Fertilizer Company. <laughs> Oh, it does a man good to get out in the fresh air and watch somebody else work. We've got to dig a lot of dirt yet. We've only made ten dollars so far. Uh, we'll never make it. I could get a whip, fellas. But just then, as fate would have it, a small stone rolled off the pile of dirt at the top of the ditch and hit Fillmore in the head. It oh, doggone rock. Well, sir. That rock went hurtling out of the ditch and straight as an arrow for 400 yards, heading right for the first hole of the Foggy Bog Golf Course. Ooh. Did you see that, Hoppity? Yeah, it hit old Major Grigsby right in the head. More important, it landed within a foot of the pin. Hoppity, I feel an idea coming on. Would you like me to hold your hat? Uh, oh! <laughs> It well, what's the idea? You're the idea, oh. Fremont. Yes, I am. Look there. Foggy Bog Open Golf Tournament. First prize, $1,000. Fillmore, you are going to be the Foggy Bog Ben Hogan, the Arnold Palmer of Prairie du Chien, the Bobby Jones of Pestigo. He's going to be a golfer? Going to be, he is. You are looking at the greatest power swinger since Babe Ruth. He was a baseball player. Whatever, come on. Uh and in just a little while, Fillmore was outfitted in the latest golf talk. Uh, on credit, of course. And entered in the Foggy Bog Open. <coughs> but standing on the first tee of the Foggy Bog Golf Course, Fillmore made a dreadful discovery. Uh, I can't hit the ball. You've got to, or we lose our happy home. Uh, this club is too small. Come on, Fillmore, back to the ditch. Uh, fuzzy buzz. Much to his surprise, Fillmore again knocks the ball 400 yards right to the first hole. Sorry, Major Grigsby. That's it, Hoppity. He has to use a shovel. This way. Now, Fillmore, just tap it in. Uh, can I move the ball one club length away from Major Grigsby? Play it as it lies. It's okay. <laughs> Saint Aunt Agnes, what happened? That's your power swinger, Uncle Waldo. The only thing he can do is hit the ball 400 yards. Uh, and in front of all them spectators, too. Spectators nothing, Fillmore. Those are creditors. Uh, creditors? You've heard of Arnold's Army? Yeah. That is Fillmore's fifth column. And Fillmore's fifth column moved forward menacingly, waving their subpoenas, court orders, and eviction notices. Uh, 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 well, our friends have landed in a sandy bunker. Can they blast out of it? Don't miss our next episode, Divot Diggers or The Wearing of the Green. And you can see it later in the show, so stay tuned. Mm -hmm. Well, Waldo Wigglesworth thought he was pulling a fast one when he entered Fillmore Bear in the Foggy Bog Open Golf Tournament. To be sure, using a shovel instead of a club, Fillmore was able to drive the ball a long way. 400 yards straight as an arrow. But when it came to putting, 
That was another story. No, it's the same story. 400 yards, straight as an arrow. I don't know my own strength. What was worse, our boys were being tagged by an army of predators waving overdue bills. Hey, I got this. Oh, hold on, good people. Our only chance of paying you is for Fillmore to win this golf tournament. But he can't putt. Hey, nobody's perfect. Right, and there's only one way he can possibly win. Yeah, if all the other players drop dead. No, but you're getting warm. You mean... I sure am. Come on. Well, from that point on, it was Katie bar the door. Other players found themselves in unforeseen difficulties as Fillmore's fifth column infiltrated the tournament to make sure that their hero won. Four. Four. On the other hand, Fillmore's fifth column had to make sure that he never had to hit anything except a long ball. A hole in one! Another hole in one! Well, let's just say I'm consistent. At the last hole, there wasn't much doubt about who would win. Ward 90, Hayward 89, Turner 88, Fillmore 26. Now, this hole is 575 yards, Fillmore. You've got to really powder this one. After you get on the green, I think you've got it made. That was true. For Fillmore's fifth column had dug the last green into the shape of a huge funnel. Just one more, Fillmore. Swing your hardest. And Fillmore did. <coughs> he swung so hard that he spun all the way around. And around. And around. And around. 41, 42, 43. Stop, Fillmore. 58, 59, 60. When Fillmore finally ran down, he had run up a score of 152 and lost the tournament. And my balance, too. This, of course, enraged Fillmore's disappointed supporters, and they started for him with intent to do him bodily harm. Not at all. We just want to give him a little present. Yeah. <laughs> a necktie. Come on, Senator. Come on. Now, hold it, good people. Hold it. Here's your money. We can pay all of you what we owe you. What? What's that? Uncle Waldo, you're rich! Uh, 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 Waldo, where'd you get all the happy cabbage? Easy, Fillmore, I bet against you, and the odds were unbelievable. You bet against Fillmore even though he was making all those holes in one and had 50 people helping him? Hoppity, my boy, I knew that if there was any earthly way to louse up a sure thing, I could depend upon Fillmore to do it. Uh, gee, Waldo, that's very touching. It's nice to have friends who trust you. Well, old buddy, I always say, when it comes to the least, you're the most. Yeah, thanks. Hey, what do you always say, Hoppity? I always say, isn't this a living in? <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, it is. But be with us next time when we tee off for another of the adventures of Hoppity Hooper. <laughs> Thank you.